and obviously his, his baton speaks for itself. Obviously a fellow wicket keeper. He's been bowling good Yorkers. And he's gone down the ground. I think it's massive. He has cleared it. That is a phenomenal hit from Dhoni. So he needs a big score. That's it over the mid-wicket fence. Because he has outside the circle are the, the point, third man, deep scrolling, and the long on. That is big. Length within reach of Dhoni. Nine required or four. There's the gap. Tony will keep batting like this. Another 50 for the Indian captain. Let's change things. Well, that is huge. It, you can't explain how big that is. That's probably the biggest boundary in Australia there. And he's cleared it comfortably when he needed 12 or 4 more. But this time much closer to Dhoni. All he does is swing through the line. Nine or four. Pressure on Niranga. Unbelievable cricket, really unbelievable. It needed a Yorker, it wasn't a Yorker. He is so powerful in the arms, and that one has gone to the long boundary down the ground. Now that had one of the greats of the game. Phenomenal wicket keeper, stood up to the stumps. I've never seen, I don't think anyone will ever be as good as him. Yeah, it was coming, was coming, and it beats the fielder. Yes, he does. That's what we said. He's got lightning fast hands behind the stumps. He loves to take the game deep and I love his persona on the field. Magnificent. Magnificent Mahindra. Good relief for me that whenever in doubt, we run up to him, we ask him questions because he's a calming influence in the team. He helps us quite a lot. We all just love having him around and seeing him have so much fun with his cricket now and he just enjoys it. And obviously his, his baton speaks for itself. Dhoni finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup. After 28 years, the parties start in the dressing room. And it's uh, an Indian captain who's been absolutely magnificent.